Create an Apple ID on your computer by visiting appleid.apple.com. Click Create your Apple ID, enter your name, country, birth date, and any email. Set A. So in this case, we're here on the Apple page. I'm going to leave this link in the description, even though this specific page is for Latin America. If you're in another place, I really think it's the same because it redirects you. But anyway, I'll leave it for you. Once you're here, it will prompt you to sign in. But don't worry because we won't be doing any of that. What we need to do is click where it says sign in on the web, and this will redirect us here. It tells us that we can use the Apple ID to sign into Apple websites, so we can create an iCloud account, or we can create an Apple ID account directly, which is what we need. So let's go to appleid.apple.com. That's the page we definitely need. Once we're here, it will ask us to sign in, but we don't want that. We want to create an Apple ID account, as I mentioned, so let's go up to the right where it says create your Apple ID. And don't worry because later on, we can also use this on our iPhone or any Apple device by simply signing in to the account we create here. So let's click on create Apple ID and now it will let us create our account. Let's go step by step. Here in first and last name, obviously, we put our name and surname. Then in country or region, it's important to select the region you belong to or the specific country. In my case, it's Colombia, but it works the same way for any country. Just select your country. Then for date of birth, we put the date we were born. For our email address, here's something very important. It doesn't have to be an iCloud email if you don't want it to be. You can have an email that says hello. But here we can use a Hotmail, Gmail, Outlook, Yahoo, any email you want that works best for you. It's not necessary to use an iCloud email. Oh, sorry to interrupt the video. I just wanted to remind you that if you like this kind of content, don't forget to subscribe. Now for the password. We confirm the password, meaning we just repeat it. Remember that this is case sensitive, so if we put an uppercase S in the password, it has to be the same way below. Then for the phone number, we just need to find our code. If you don't know your code, it's important to look it up online. Generally, you can search for something like country code and it will show up. However, this is organized alphabetically, so just look for your country. In this case, my code is plus 57. Remember to do it this way because if you leave it as Argentina but your number is from Mexico, the code you receive won't work. We need to get a code via text message or directly by call to verify our account. So, here I'm going to put Colombia. Just put it here and that's it. After that, we enter the phone number, verify it with a text message or phone call, then we accept to receive ads or communications from Apple, and then promotions or stuff like that for apps music, TV, and more. So, I'm going to fill out all this info and we'll continue. We hit continue, and I'll show you what else comes up. I've entered all the info, and now the last thing I need to do is fill in this code, which means I have to put the same code that appears on the left. In this case, I think it's in uppercase, so I'll complete it and hit continue. Now it's starting to load and it tells me to verify my email address to create my Apple ID. So, I just need to wait for an email with the code that I have to enter here. Let's wait for it to arrive, and there it is. It says to verify the address, so I'm entering the code here. I'm seeing it directly on my phone, and there we have it. We hit continue once, and now it prompts us to save the password. Now it says it's going to verify our phone number. You can see this number is censored, but it's showing the number I entered in the form. Now I need to get this code to verify it. Remember, we absolutely have to enter it, and we need a phone number because without it, we can't create the Apple ID. It's a must for verifying our account. So, we just have to wait. Sometimes it takes a bit, sometimes it's really quick. In my case, it's taking a while, but if it doesn't arrive quickly or at all, we can click where it says didn't receive a code and we'll get a code. Well, in this case, I already got it, so I'm going to enter it here and we just hit continue. Once we hit continue, it starts generating our Apple ID and once we do that, we have our Apple ID. 
We can use it on all platforms that are linked to this account or directly log in on our devices. In this case, I don't have any, but as soon as I get an iPhone, iPad, or Mac where I enter this account, it will show up automatically. So with that said, that's the end of the video. I hope you liked it. See you next time. Bye bye.